Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Deanna DiMatteo and I'm a real estate agent in Southern California with eXp Realty. I wanna thank you for returning to my channel and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Let's get this thing growing as quickly as we can. So in today's video, I really wanna talk about a common question and probably the first one that you guys might have, which is how to get your real estate license. Now, I kind of feel like I'm an expert in this field because I just got my real estate license in California Thank you. But not only that, I am actually getting my real estate license simultaneously in Florida and in Connecticut. So I've kind of understood how their processes go and I want to share that information with you. My information is going to be geared a little bit more towards California and Florida and the nationwide. Um, so you kind of just have to look into your department's website to find the specifics that pertain to you. But to get started, let's talk about how you initially start to get your real estate license. You either have to choose to take your classes online or in person. Now, in person isn't as common anymore because of how many options there are online. I completely recommend doing it online too. A lot of the times you can do it at your own pace. So the program that I recommend you use is Real Estate Express. It's not offered in all states. I know it's not offered in Connecticut, but I know it's offered in a lot of states and they're growing. So I highly recommend Real Estate Express because it's really on your own pace and it's pretty affordable. There are four options for Real Estate Express and I would go with the exam preparation one. That has your classes and your exam preparation uh, quizzes and tests. So it'll give you all of the classes that you're required to take. And then when you're done with those classes, you'll just print out your certificate. So you're done with your classes. The first thing you want to do as soon as you get all of your certificates is to apply for your license and for your exam. The reason you want to do this immediately, like the same day, is because the process can take a while. In California, to process your exam, it almost takes two months, and then you have to schedule your exam after that. I know it varies in other states, and it is different right now with the pandemic. However, you really want to get that done. Pro tip. If you live in Florida and some other states, those states actually allow you to apply for your license and your exam while you're taking classes. However, most require you to have taken the class and passed the final in order to apply for your exam. So do that. <laughs> okay, next, after you've applied, don't forget, make sure you take a real estate study course. So you can find these for pretty cheap. I'm gonna talk about pricing at the end of the video, but a study course gives you like different questions, gives you different types of tests set up, um, and it's a little different from your actual real estate classes. So I definitely recommend taking a study course. The ones I recommend, if you're in California or other states, but this is pretty California specific, is Crash Course Online. Crash Course Online actually lays out your exam directly and exactly how you'll see it on the actual exam you'll take. Prep Agent is like really another popular common one. Florida has Climber Real Estate classes. Um, they offer some YouTube videos online, which I'm going to talk about, but those all have study courses on top of their actual courses you'll take to get your certificate. So a study course is really, really important. Other things that you definitely need to do are start studying with the free products that they have available. So YouTube has a ton of free webinars. Prep Agent has posted some of their webinars. Audi Schools is another really good one that has basically the whole class, but also some training webinars that you can use. And I know Climber Real Estate also has just training videos that are really helpful. Podcasts are also free. So you can listen to podcasts in the car, in the shower, while you're working out. I guess it really doesn't matter, but I know Prep Agent has a lot of good webinars on their on their podcast channel. So that's a really great way to start studying for your real estate exam. So next, you will most likely need to get fingerprinted in order to apply for your exam. So this kind of falls into what you have to do as soon as you complete your classes but you need to get fingerprinted. And depending on if you're applying when you're in state or out of state, it's gonna change how it goes. But on your department's website, it should explain exactly what the process is, where you can go. I know most police stations will offer fingerprinting, so that could be fun. 
Um, but there's a lot of places around. You do have to pay for it and they need those fingerprints while they're processing your exam. So make sure you get those in when you apply. All right, let's talk about the fun thing, which is the cost. So you gotta spend money to make money, unfortunately. Uh, most real estate schools are around 100 to 150 dollars, which honestly is not that bad. Considering you're taking basically college level classes, I was able to take all of mine for about 140 dollars, and in California, I needed to take three. It was a blast. Then you're gonna have to pay for your crash course or your study course, which is about 100 dollars. I see most of them at and then your real estate licensing application. So you're gonna be applying to get your real estate license and you're gonna be applying to take the exam. This can vary anywhere between 200 to $300 depending on what state you're in. Okay, so now your application has been accepted and you can schedule your exam. I know in some states this is easier than others. In Florida, you actually have the privilege to take your exam online or to take it in person. So taking it online is obviously very easy because you can take it in the comfort of your home and then taking it in person just varies on when you have dates available. In California, as of right now, taking it, you can only take it in person. So, and they're very backed up. So it's gonna take about a month at least to get an exam date scheduled. So just kind of plan for that. But I hope you pass your first time. You should, there's no reason not to, just study and do a crash course and for the exam, you're going to have two parts. You'll have a national part and a state specific part. And they are going to be at the same time. In California, you don't even notice the difference. They're all combined in the exact same test. In other states, you're going to kind of notice that now you're taking the national part and now you're taking the state part. Depending on what state you're in, you need a certain score to pass. In California, you need a 70%. In Florida, you need a 75% on both parts. And once you pass, they're gonna process your application pretty quickly and you'll receive your license within a week or two. And then the next thing you have to do is tell everyone. You want everyone you know to know that you are their real estate agent. So that basically goes through exactly how to get your real estate license from start to finish. There's many reasons you wanna be a real estate agent. And I'm so grateful that I just received mine. I can't wait to further my education and continue learning about this industry. And I really hope this video helped you. If it did, please send it to a friend who you think might benefit from it and subscribe. Let's get my channel growing and I will see you soon.